I hope I'm Mark's only good friend tonight. I didn't hear him say that about anyone else. Uh, <laughs> it is good to be here. Today was my first day in Atlanta ever, and the weirdest thing happened to me. I was at Panera Bread, because apparently that's what you do when you first get to Atlanta. <laughs> and I'm sitting there just eating, and then there was like this old guy, must have been about like 90, just staring at me. Wouldn't break eye contact with me, so creepy, just staring at me. Because you know what that means, right? When an old guy's staring at you, it means he's trying to switch bodies with you, and I was not <laughs> gonna deal with that. That's why I was late tonight, because he was just, he was staring at me so hard, and I had to get out of there. <laughs> I, uh, I read an article, uh, so that's gotta be true if you say that. I read an article online. Uh, it was about Michael Jordan, because his birthday just passed. And it said that he is obsessed with that iPhone app game, Bejeweled. <laughs> and he's obsessed with it to the point that he has like the highest score in the world. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, does that mean he's the Michael Jordan of Bejeweled? That guy <laughs> is incredible. I don't know if he's the Michael Jordan of Angry Birds. I didn't get that far in the article, <laughs> but I'm sure he is. Uh, I, I like uh, internet rage. Internet rage is the best to me. And my favorite inter internet rage lately was people who got upset at the all-female casting of Ghostbusters. Did you hear about that? People like, yeah. people like threw their shit, which is like, you do know you can watch the old one. You know they didn't do anything <laughs> to the old one. <laughs> they didn't CGI Bill Murray out. You can still watch that anytime you want, which is what I did recently. It was my favorite movie as a kid. I hadn't seen it in like 10 years. And it was the first time that I had this reaction that made me feel very old myself. When the EPA guy, the Environmental Protection Agency guy, busts in the warehouse and he's demanding to see what's in the traps, it was the first time that I sided with the EPA guy. It was the first time <laughs> that I'm watching it. I'm like, wait a minute, this seems like a very reasonable request. This is not, <laughs> this does not seem that crazy. He's not asking for anything outrageous here. He just wants you to try to leave you alone. I'm like, I live in New York. There was just an Ebola outbreak. Let him see what's in the traps. <laughs> And then I'm like, forget this female remake. No, the new Ghostbusters should be about our hero, the EPA guy, <laughs> <laughs> trying to stop those Ghostbusters from polluting the city. That is what people want. And I'm like, oh crap, I'm watching Ghostbusters as a very mature adult. That is not, because <laughs> he's the only human villain in that movie. <laughs> it's a very strange thing. Uh, I'm out there, guys. I'm single right now. I. Uh, I broke up with my girlfriend, we broke up, and uh, we were together for a few years, but I think the problem was why we broke up is because she was too into her cat. I don't, know if <laughs> I don't know if that's ever happened to you, if you ever dated a girl. And like, look, if you have cats, you're on, you probably love cats, that's fine. But when you throw your cat a birthday party, I think that goes <laughs> against what's good taste in having a cat. Did you, do you, I'm, you odd, so you probably have a cat. Did you, did you ever throw a cat birthday party? No, you're, you, you're a good man, you wouldn't do that. And the only way you would go to a cat's birthday party is if you get tricked. Because I didn't know. Because you wouldn't, if she called me and was like, hey, uh, Tanuki, it's his second birthday, you're coming, right? I would be like, no, I, <laughs> there's no way I'd come. I went to her apartment, she's like, uh, where's your gift? And I was like, oh my God, is it her birthday? Is it anniversary? I'm like racking my brain. And then she goes, uh, no, it's Tanuki's birthday. And then she kind of did sparkly jazz hands at the cat. <laughs> And then, and then there was just a sad cat looking at me that I didn't bring him a gift. <laughs> and she's like, well, you can't not give him anything. Um, here's a card I got him. Can you open it and read it to him? Because he has, like, he can, he has, like, try. I'm like, I know how fucking cats work. Give me the, <laughs> give me the card. So now I, I'm, I'm at my girlfriend's cat's birthday party, which I might as well have thrown because I'm reading... <laughs> A happy birthday card to a cat. I'm like, okay, Tanuki, happy birthday. And it was a picture of a cat on the cover, which is appropriate for a cat's birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. And then I opened it up and it said, you're one year closer to perfection. <laughs> which, exactly, where's the cat butt? Where's the cat butt? I'm like, why does this not say perfection? That's like the easiest joke in the world. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, this is a catastrophe. This is no good. <laughs> And she's laughing, I'm like, you see, you always do the cat pun. Always go cat pun. I'm like, someone at Hallmark is gonna get fired over this. This is unacceptable <laughs> to make a cat birthday card that doesn't have a cat pun. And then I looked at the front, looked at the back, and I was like, oh, this is just a card for a two-year-old. This is not a cat's birthday card. 
But when you give a cat a birthday card on his birthday and you read it to him, it makes it seem like Hallmark makes a specific line of cat birthday cards for people who are insane enough to buy them. Like, hey, is your cat going through its weird teenage years? Well, we got a card for you. And it's just like a cat in goth makeup. I don't know, I don't write cat birthday cards, guys. I, I don't know, I, I, I assume no one's ever been to a cat's birthday party here. Like I was going insane, I'm questioning my life, I'm questioning my relationship. The whole time I'm just like, man, I really wish I was at a dog's birthday party, because that would be amazing. <laughs> yes, because a dog would eat the wrapping paper, would be like, I love this. The cat's just like, mm, I have to get back to doing nothing. What time is this over? Thank you guys, I'm Jeff Cerulli, it was a lot of fun. Thank you.